Hello and welcome to this presentation of uh, Cloy Google Map. Um, this is an extension that would make it possible to inside uh, MicroStation to get colored maps and to get different maps with different resolution, etc. This application also runs on ArcGIS, on MapInfo and GeoMedia. Uh, the basic uh, functionality is that you have some data, you don't, but you don't necessarily have some a background map. Um, so here you see I have a geo-referenced image, uh, but I'm now at a different zoom level, and for that reason I would like to have a new map. I just request the map here. It will automatically calculate what zoom level should it be at. And here I have put that I would like my map to come back in a in a resolution at 1024 times 768. Also, it's possible here to to choose between the different kind of maps that is available at Google. But this is uh, the basic functionality. Um, we can also zoom out and see here we have more data and uh, for this reason we would like to, to generate a map to get an um, overview of where we are and I'm using this uh, uh, road map now and that means that we can now see where are we and yeah we are in Denmark and this zones and so on and we can zoom in and we can say okay now I want to go back to this hybrid map and I want to see a very uh, more detailed map what happens here is actually that it's picking up 16 maps that is tied together and um, and you can see now that we're zooming very much in then we are a different one but here it says f scale 15 at Google Maps so this is kind of it so now we are s we are ordering a new map as a background map if you want a different map with a higher resolution it's also possible to get this you should just uh, it will take a longer time to pick up but for instance if you want to print your map then it could be a good idea to to have a higher resolution because that will be known so this looks actually quite well this cloy here that is just for demo that is because uh, but if you buy a license then it will not be there there's different opportunities here you can select some things and it supports all coordinate system it also supports local uh, Danish system 34 and if you have a local system I can easily implement it since I built the transformation engine myself the, the, the first part here was how to get a map but we want perhaps also get to get a location so I will try here to get a location that I know Um, and I will search for it, it will come up with some suggestion. Here it found just one suggestion. And now I will zoom to this address here and I can switch back again and I can see what is actually, where am I now? And um, it will now generate a map, but it is only locating based on uh, the address that we had before so now I'm at this address here and if you have a location you could do it in the same way so here you can see we are in my hometown and uh, we can of course let's continue to to generate map to show where we are the only thing is that we have to select here yeah this is a map and we can see that I can if I wanted this with a better resolution then I could generate a new one perhaps something like this and then I would get a, a better map but of course as I have pointed out one time that even if we are going out up in the resolution then it will also take longer time to download and to merge and to transform the images that is uh, the idea so here we can see that uh, it can also be used to locate uh, where we are and to in this case I don't have any maps here but we can see now that it came back with a higher resolution. Uh, 